So for this measurement conversion, then we have this even. So kilometers to this meter. So from the given, convert this kilometer to this meter. And using this conversion table, so observe that on this conversion table, there is no direct conversion from kilometer to decimeter. So therefore, we're going to use two conversions. So we need to convert first kilometer to meters. So from the given, so times, since the given is in kilometer, so the kilometer must be in the denominator and meter must be in the numerator. Then we have this conversion that 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. Then cancel kilometers. So we have now the remaining unit in meter. Then this time, we can convert now this meter to this meter using this conversion. So since meter in the numerator, so therefore, meter must be in the denominator and the C meter must be in the numerator. Then for the conversion, so 1 meter equals 10 DC meter. So cancel now meter. So we have now the unit DC meter. Then to simplify, so multiply this 3 times 1000 times 10. So this is equal to 30,000 DC meter. Then for this given using this table, so convert 90 pounds to grams. So from this table, since there is no direct conversion from pounds to grams, so therefore, we need to convert first pounds to kilogram. And since we have two conversion, so it's up to you what conversion you're going to use. But I prefer to use this conversion from pounds to kilogram. So times, again, since the given is in pounds, so pounds must be in the denominator. And kilogram must be in the numerator, then cancel. So the conversion, so we have 2.205 pounds is equal to 1 kilogram. Then convert this kilogram to grams using this conversion since kilogram is in the numerator so kilogram must be in the denominator and grams must be in the numerator then cancel so the unit now is in grams so we have one kilogram is equal to 1000 grams then to simplify so this 90 times 1,000, so this is 90,000, then over this 2.205, then to simplify, so we have 90,000, divide by 2.205, equals, so we have 40,816.33 grams. Then for this given, so convert this yard per second to inches per minute. So from the given and using this table, so since there is no direct conversion for yard to inches, so in this case, we need to convert first yard to meter and convert meter to inches so for this given since yard is in the numerator so yard must be in the denominator and meter must be in the numerator then for the conversion so one yard is equal to 0 0.9144 meters then we can cancel now yard so we have now meters, then we can convert this meter 
to inches. So using this conversion, and meter must be in the denominator, then inches must be in the numerator. So we have this conversion, 0 0.0254 meter is equal to 1 inch. So cancel meters, so the unit now is in inches. Then we also have this second to minute, so convert this second to minute, so times, since second is in the denominator, so therefore in the conversion, second must be in the numerator and minute must be in the denominator, then cancel second and for the conversion, since one minute is equal to 60 seconds, then to simplify, so multiply now this 21 times 0 0.9144 times 1 times 60. So we have 21 times 0 0.9144 times 60. So this is equal to 1152.144. Then we have now the unit, inches per minute. So just copy this 0 0.0254. Then to simplify, so this 1152.144 divide by 0 0.0254. So we have 1152.144 divide by 0 0.0254. Equal, so this is 45,360 inches per minute. And for this problem, so feet squared to meter squared. So since we have this direct conversion, feet squared to meter squared. So from the given, so times, so feet squared is in the denominator and meter squared is in the numerator, then cancel. And for the conversion, so we have 10.764, that's 1 meter squared. Then convert now this hour to second. So since hour is in the denominator, so hour must be in the numerator, and second is in the denominator, then cancel. So we have now the conversion that 3,600 seconds is equal to 1 hour. Then to simplify, so this 20,000 over 10.764 times 3,600. So 10.764 times 3,600, so equal, so this is 38,750.4. Then to simplify, so we have 20,000 divided by 38,750.4. So we have 0 0.52 meters squared per second.